Hey guys, we're at the front of my property, which I haven't actually filmed before, and I've got a, another fig in a wine barrel here. This one came from a nursery called Yalka, and although it's hard to read that, that says Saint Dominique. Although today I came out and saw this quite poorly looking fig on the tree. Oh, we've got some bugs in here as well, but look at that. Um, quite a poorly looking fig on the tree. Anyone that knows this particular fig knows that it should be purple. So it uh, looks like I have a mislabeled fig sent from Yalka. I would have probably been testing this fig a little bit more to see if it was ripe if I if I hadn't been expecting it to be green. So we'll see if this one's salvageable and edible. It's quite soft. You can see there's a little bit of a drop of honey in there. Um, so we'll give this one a taste and I've got some other things that I'm going to try at the same time which I'll cut these videos together. Okay, back in the backyard now, and we have some more ripe figs to try. This fig here, black as sheer. You can see that we've got a number of these that are starting to come on ripe. Um, they are actually, from my memory, a lot darker than this, at least the ones that were on last year. So. Maybe it's not quite ripe yet, but uh, this one here is what I'm going to pick and try today. It's quite soft. Got a nice calloused end there. Um, you can see there's a little bit of stretching on the, um, the fig itself. So this is a black ischia that we're going to try. I'm going to leave the other two on here just to give them another day or two to ripen up. And over this side, in what might be another case of mislabeled figs, like that St. Dominic's Violet on the front, this fig here, which came as a cutting from an eBay seller, has a very ripe, large fig on here. Now it's got a very large eye opening on this particular fig. It's a, a greeny, yellowy coloured fig. But this particular fig, was sold to me, as you can see on the stem there, is a Capri fig. Now a Capri fig is a male fig. They're not edible. Well, they're edible, but they're not very good. However, this to me does not look like a Capri fig. This, uh, maybe it does. So we'll cut this one open. We'll see if it is indeed a male fig. Even if it is a male fig, it's got a little bit of um, sap coming out of it, so this one might have been a little bit unripe. But we'll have a look at that inside as well. We'll have a taste. We'll see if it's disgusting. Male figs can be full of pollen and we could be quite dry inside. And we'll be able to compare it to see if it has male flower parts inside of it instead of female flower parts like most of the figs that we like to eat. So three types of figs to try. Let's see how we go here today. This other green one here was the, the St. Dominique's Violet, which is clearly not violet from the front yard. Let's see if we can do this without camera over today, like I did yesterday. Hmm. And let's see if we can't, can't zoom out in this mode, it reckons. Okay. So let's start with this Capri fig, perhaps. Okay, I'm back after that disaster. Dropped my camera again. Clearly this camera stand that I use has a little bit to be desired in it. It's uh, two days in a row I've dropped this now. So I just cut this Capri fig, or the one that was labeled a Capri fig apart. It has, inside of it, are they stamens? Smells very figgy, smells quite tasty in fact. I don't know if that camera is focusing on the fig here. You might notice in my videos I shake a fair bit. I actually have an essential tremor, which is a real pain in the ass when you're trying to um, film things and get them in focus, especially up front. It's nothing bad. It's just a, a little bit of a tremor that's getting worse as I get older in fact, which is a bit annoying. But anyway, we do what we can with what we have. So Capri fig, smells good, 
Uh, let's compare it to perhaps this this supposed Violette de Bordeaux. Now this Violette de Bordeaux is bright pink inside, although this definitely isn't a Violet de Bordeaux. This is maybe a white Adriatic. It could be a what are the other ones that we get in there? We got the green Adriatics, I think, that are out there. There's there's some very common figs that you see in Bunnings all the time, and they have this kind of red jammy center um, with a white fig. So white Adriatic is perhaps the most common that we see. Um, you can also get um, a black one of a similar variety. Now if we compare these two figs side by side, so you can see what's inside them, you can see that they do look quite different. So I think this actually has some seeds in it though, so this can't be a Capri fig if that's the case. This does have seeds in it, so I don't believe this is a Capri fig at all, I think that's a, a mislabeled female fig and it's one of the um, it's one of the risks that you have when you buy cuttings off eBay that you never know what you're going to get until it does fruit and even for instance this this white Adriatic or whatever it might be this um, this also uh, is mislabeled even though it came from a nursery which is really really annoying it looks delicious and I do like white figs and of course we had the blackish here here so we'll cut this one open at the same time the blackish here looks similar inside to the white fig that we have over here, the one that was labelled as a Capri fig. Doesn't smell as good or look as good as the white fig, but let's give them all a try. First of all, let's give this uh, Capri fig a try. Now, this Capri fig uh, is quite firm at the bottom. Uh, it had a really large eye. If I show you, if I put that back together, you'll be able to see the size of the eye of that fig. Um, this was with a really big eye like that. It could have been a Capri fig. Capri figs are male figs and the intent of them is that the fig wasp kind of climbs through that little hole and pollinates all the female figs. They overwinter inside the Capri fig and and then fly off and pollinate all of the female figs, which is why they have that eye to begin with. And Capri figs do have a, a large eye from what I understand. Let's give it a go. Crunchy seeds. It's nice, it's, it just has like a fig. It's not particularly sweet. It's soft, it's edible. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. very boring very slightly sweet not a lot of flavor profile to that one it's um, very linear it's, it's just a sweet inoffensive boring fig it's not a Capri fig though there's no way let's try this uh, black Ishia it's got a beautiful dark skin the ones I've seen before are even more dark so maybe it even needed a few more days so we'll give the ones that are on the trees even longer to ripen let's give it a go much better it's actually quite jammy it's quite thick and jammy in there mm. that's a really good fig doesn't have the berry flavors that were in the panache fig the other day it's very sweet it's again quite linear but it's linear sweet in a really good way it's quite meaty it's quite um, it's very very tasty now this one here did have a drop of honey in there, in the eye which we saw before, and that seems to have caught any bugs that were coming through, and there is a bug in there, so I'm just going to remove that little bit of an eye, because I don't like eating bugs. Let's give this, this supposed Saint Dominic's a try. Mm. This one's really jelly. bit messy this is a really nice fig mm. this one is delicious mm. this one has a honey flavor to it it's got some acidity to it it's just very pulpy it's very jelly like it's very it's just great 
Mm. That's a pig. It might not be a Dominic, but it's very, very good. I may as well just finish the other half of this. Mm. Side by side, they're both exceptional pigs in different ways. So that last one had the honeyness, and it was just, it was just delicious. This one's, I don't know, it's meaty, it's sweet, it's, it's another very good fig. They, they taste very different to each other. This one tastes a little bit more watery as well. I think that the rain that we had the other day has probably diluted it down a bit, but um, I think it's equally as good but in a different way. Although if I had to only eat one of those for my whole life, it would be the white one that, we, that I tried. It was it was just spectacular. But uh, the, the black is sheer. It's so difficult to kind of describe flavors, isn't it? They both taste like really good figs. They both have a really good figgy flavor. Um, the honey flavors were there in both of them, but they were kind of muted. Neither of them had that strong kind of raspberry flavor of the panache, but both of them far exceed the panache in flavor that was a really good fig this capri whatever not particularly good i'm not even going to finish it that was a very linear subtly just somewhat sweet insipid boring um it was it's nothing to write home about but those two figs there the black ashia and the unknown white fig from the front yard spectacular figs um both of them are going to get a prime premium place when I plant them into the ground so that next year hopefully we get some really good um, crops off those because they're excellent figs. Anyway guys I know that was a bit rambly and I know that I'm not particularly good at explaining these videos um, when and explaining flavours but hopefully it's helpful for anyone out there that likes figs like I do and maybe collect some. I've got a few new figs coming along as well. I've purchased a couple of new cuttings for varieties that I don't have. Um, I've got a new uh, potted variety coming along as well. So um, I'll keep documenting them anyway so I can over time look back on myself and see which ones I prefer and which figs I rate the best over the lifetime of the plant and as my tastes grow as well. Anyway guys, talk later.